needs to be secluded. If there is contact, that is an interference. And that interference is what will start causing the patient a lot of problems. Now, when I achieve all of this together, this is occlusion that is interference free. Your patient will never complain of high crowns. All right, I've put in a clinical situation here. My patient is trying to close the mandible. And because the patient is trying to close, the masseter muscle is going to be active. Why? Because it's an elevator muscle. At the same time, the temporalis muscle is also going to be active because that is also an elevator muscle. The superior lateral pterygoid will be active because it has to hold the disc in a particular position. But most importantly, what I want you all to notice on the screen right now is that no teeth are in contact. And because no teeth are in contact, the condyles are in centric relation. And that is why my inferior lateral pterygoid is relaxing. Now what I want you all to see is the lower 7. Now can you appreciate I've done a crown preparation for this patient? Now when I give this patient a crown, and that crown is high, which is what we're talking about, what will happen? That particular crown will act as a pivot, and the patient will try to close, hinging on that, because he has to go into maximum intercuspation. And because of that, look at the single plus that there is on all of the elevator muscle. That becomes a double plus, essentially meaning that the elevator muscles will start to undergo what is called as spasmodic contractions. At the same time, the inferior lateral pterygoid muscle, which was relaxing, undergoes hyperactive contraction. Why? Because the entire mandible now has to move forward in order, to, in order for the patient to achieve maximum intercuspation. So what is called as coordinated muscle function, in essence, now becomes incoordinated muscle hyperfunction. What does this affect? This affects the T. TMJ. What is TMJ? Temporomandibular joint? No. TMJ stands for teeth, it stands for muscle, and it stands for 